Good morning children. Today we will find out the hybridization of some of the compounds. For that we have to first calculate the number of hybrid orbitals. By knowing that only we can find out the hybridization. So children last Monday uh, we had seen the formula x is equal to half v plus m minus c plus a. What was v? The number of electrons in the valence shell of the central atom. Valence electrons of the central atom. M was the number of monovalent atoms attached like Cl, Br, H etc. If they are attached to central atom. Minus C. C is the charge on cation. I gave the formula last time only. Uh, say for ammonium charge is 1 plus 1. But here we just will see the numerical value, not plus minus. Charge on cation. So it will be minus. If it is ammonium, by the way, value will be 1. So here we will just see the numerical value. Plus A. A is charge on Ni. Formula is plus. Now suppose it is sulfate by chance, sulfate. So we will say plus and then minus 2. No, I repeat, we are just seeing here the numerical value, the digit only. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, not plus, minus. So the charge of the cation will be minus here and the charge on the anion will be plus here. Because anion brings electrons, so they are being added up. Cation takes away electrons, so they are being subtracted. So very clear. So suppose it is CO2. So carbon half. Valence shell carbon, central atom is carbon. Its valence shell has got four electrons. We all know. So half. Within brackets 4, there is no monovalent atom around it. It is O, it is not monovalent, so it is 0. No charge of cation, no charge of anion. 4 by 2 is 2. And children, when we have two hybrid orbitals, x is the number of hybrid orbitals. The formula was last time, you should have revised. Or if not, you better revise now. So when we have two, the hybridization is sp. 2 is sp, 3 is sp2, 4 is sp3. 5 is sp3d, 6 sp3d2 and 7 is sp3d3. So I took just one example. Then see here SO2. SO2 half. Central atom is S. S has got 6 electrons in the valence shell. So 6 is V here, number of valence electrons on the central atom. Monovalent atom, no there because it is O. So 0, no charge on cation, no charge on anion. 6 by 2, 3. And when we have 3, we know sp2. So it is sp2. Suppose I go for H2O. Central atom is O. We discussed last time. O has 6 electrons in the valence shell. So here V will be 6. Formula is half here. And uh, it has got neighboring atoms, monovalent atoms. They are 2H. So it is 2. No charge of cation or anion here. So it is minus 0 and then here it is plus 0. So it is 6 plus 2, 8. 8 by 2 is 4. And when we have 4, we know it is sp3. So it is sp3 here. Then, suppose I have example PCl5. P is the central atom here. We know P has got 5 electrons in the valence shell. And in the neighboring, in the neighbor, in the neighboring hood, neighborhood, it has got uh, five monovalent atoms. So there are five monovalent atoms attached to this. No cationic charge, no anionic charge. 5 plus 5, 10 by 2, 5. 5 means sp3d, sp3d we have here. Similarly, if I go for NH4 plus, see I have taken one example for the cation also. So here, NH4 plus formula says half, then Number of electrons in the valence shell of central atom. N is 5. Uh, N is the central atom having 5 electrons. And the neighboring atoms, all 4H, monovalent atoms, 4. Then you see, minus the charge of cation. It has got 1. So, this charge had to be subtracted. Minus 1. Again, I say, we will go for the numerical value. The digit, the number. 
not the plus minus only see the charge on cation which is minus one here and then anionic charge zero so it is uh, five plus four nine minus one eight eight by two four four means sp3 come to so4 two minus central atom is six so half and here it is six neighboring atoms are o they are not monovalent atoms so here it is zero then cationic charge here it is zero anionic charge is two minus i was telling you we just see the numerical value the digit the number not plus and minus you see it is plus here if it is plus and i put minus here if i go that way according to algebra it would have been minus two no we just see the digit it is two so it is two here and uh, because anion it is minus two you know electrons are added or just go here we have seen the numerical value it is two so plus two and then it is six plus two eight eight by two four four means sp3 Again, I repeat, children, for cationic and anionic charge, you just go for the numerical value. Say, uh, any cation has got plus 2 charge. So, in your value, it will be minus 2 here. Don't go for plus and minus. Just see the numerical value. Charge on the anion. Minus, had it been phosphate, then in the formula, this would have been minus 3. Had it been carbonate, the form the the value would have been minus two but when you put the value in the formula it will be for phosphate plus three for sulfate plus two because the electrons are added up there so that's how we do it and we find out here so this is how children gave you some examples to find out hybridization hope it is clear it's not a difficult thing ha, one more thing children Suppose we get the number of electrons after addition as odd number. So it comes out to be 7. 7 by 2 means 3.5. So children, this 0.5 means there was one electron unpaired. That makes the species paramagnetic. If at all, anywhere you find any number of electron unpaired, the species will be paramagnetic. Remember that. Am I clear? I hope it is clear. If you find anywhere, anywhere, the value of X in fraction means the species will be paramagnetic in nature. If at all, it comes anywhere. Say it comes 2.5. So it is actually the number of hybrid orbitals is 2. 0.5 means one electron was unpaired. So in that case, the species will be paramagnetic. I hope I am clear and you have understood this. So this is all for this video. We have seen here how to find out hybridization. For this video, we stop here. Thank you.